we just made it past all these vultures, which are just huge. They are massive, and they just rip your car apart if you don't put any uh, tarp over it. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Taylor and this is Kevin. And for the last 45 days, we've been traveling from our home state of New Jersey to Key West, Florida, while visiting every coastal town along the way. In the last episode, we drove the van through the beach towns of Miami and saw some wildlife in Key Biscayne. Today, we head west to explore the Everglades National Park before leaving for Key West. And we wonder, why my filming is always a little off. Florida Panther. Florida Panther sign. I thought you saw one. I was going to get excited. I'd love to see a panther. How does a panther look this way? That's wrong. We just put this tarp on the van right here. Literally go all over your car and rip off your windshield wipers, and it's not that they're great. Medicine. Yeah, they're crazy. So we're basically trapped in our van right Worst here. Worst animals ever, and they scare the crap out of me. And they're about half my size, each one of them. So we got the solar panels blocked off and the windshield. Crazy. They're massive. It's basically what will happen. All right, so we are on the Anhinga Trail, and we just made it past, Jesus. we just made it past all these vultures, which are just huge. They are massive, and they just rip your car apart if you don't put any uh, tarp over it. <laughs> <laughs> they freak Taylor out. They're so big. So, just be prepared. Oh, God. They're so big. Hey, you make that weird noise like the um, um. It's crazy. Get away. Ah! Taylor thinks she sees a Venus flytrap. Anyone know if they're in the Everglades? Do gators sit at the bottom of water? Or would they not be in this water at all because it's too deep? I don't know, but it's clear. Like, do they come up for breath or do they need air to survive? No, they need to breathe. Like what do you see? A turtle. See him? I think it's a turtle. Right? Look, its head's going out. That's definitely a turtle. So we saw two turtles. Two turtles. Potentially one eel. And one fish. What? One fish. Potentially I saw the an eel. eel yeah, yeah, maybe an eel. It was a, a long looking fish that went probably out of the a rock. Probably a snake, not an eel. Into a rock. So the difference between those trees and the prairie grass is just one inch of elevation. So no gators for us today on the Inhinga Trail, but we did see the two turtles, the one fish, and the birds favorite. So now we're going to go down to uh, Flamingo and hope to see a crocodile and a manatee. Now we're on the gumbo trail. We weren't really going to do this but it's only 0.4 miles so we're here. When are we going to be in the Everglades again? So we decided to just go for it. Yeah. It's okay. 
Look at those roots. They look like worms. They solved are hard. Kind of hard. I, ima I envisioned myself doing this and them all like Moving. shriveling back into it. So this is a palm tree. Palm tree. Snakes grow at the top of palm trees. Did you guys know that? Learned it last night in my cooking class. Might have to fact check that. All right, so the moment of truth. How many vultures are on the car? Dan, I'm gonna go with six. I'm gonna say only three, because oh. I think we're steep enough where it's not comfortable to just rest on, but we'll see. These things are vicious. You have like the biggest top. Yeah. This is gonna be sunbeam there. Yeah, hopefully. We covered the solar panels and the front because apparently they go after rubber, so like windshield wipers, and like the gaskets along the windshield. So, they're ruthless. Whatever fingers they crossed we're okay. These things are massive. The board is ruined. Wow. I it ripped it to that. shreds. I that. Wow. They got it good. Got our board. Yep. I got it good. The board did not survive, but I think it'll still be rideable. But it's just pretty beat up. It looks like shit. I feel like it might not, uh, might get a little waterlogged now, but we'll see. Okay, so we are at Nine Mile Pond right now. Nine miles from Flemington, or Flemington, Flamingo Visitor Center. And we're stopped here to have some lunch. Taylor, what are we making, or what are you making? Nothing special, just some Caesar salad with a little bit of garlic bread, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna try to eat a little healthier today. Sounds good to me. Did I ever mention how grateful I am of Taylor's cooking? Here we have the salad. I don't cook at all. <laughs> so I'm very grateful every time Taylor cooks meals, which is a good amount. So thank you, Taylor. You're welcome, honey. After the surfboard vulture attack and our lunch at Nine Mile Pond, we headed further south towards Flamingo Marina in hopes to see some more wildlife. Flamingo Marina is a reliable place to see the manatees. We were told that the manatees live around the marina and are often spotted swimming within the murky water here. It was interesting to see how many barnacles were on these animals and the occasional battle scar of a boat propeller. At Flamingo Marina, you'll also see some crocodiles in addition to the manatees. Yes, I said crocodiles, not alligators, which are more prevalent further north in the park. You'll often see these guys sunbathing on the boat ramp, getting their tan on. After seeing the wildlife in Flamingo, we made our way back to Florida City in preparation for our next destination of Key West, Florida. Here we decided to park the van for a few days and stay at a hotel. Oh, this king bed. Ugh. Because sleeping in your van on the streets of Key West is very difficult and very expensive. Thanks for watching guys and if you're new here please subscribe. We'll see you soon.